Alrighty, so this is going to be a urgent messages from your spirit guides or the universe reading. Thank you so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. This is going to be for my cancers. Uh, sorry, I did do the rest of this, uh, the signs live. But for some reason, when I go live, the connection where I record at is just horrible. So I'm just going to finish the rest of the readings off and just upload them. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. We're going to kind of pull into your energy and see what your spirit guides and also the universe has to urgently say to you guys. Okay, so let's get into some things. So what are the messages I need to pass on to my cancers? What are the urgent messages I need to pass on to my cancers? Start here. Okay. So starting off... The urgent messages they really want to pass on to you, for one, um, there's a need for you guys to really sit down and process some decisions that you're about to make. Um, for some of you, this could be in regards to like moving. Others of you, this is on how to take your business a lot further. You could be trying to find that thing that's going to really catapult, catapult. <laughs> I'm struggling with this word right now. Um, take you further in your business. All right. Basically, um, I feel like also for a lot of you, the way that you guys may be processing certain situations or events going on in your life, you need to be careful because you may be overthinking things or with the stuff that's taking place, it's not even something that you could really understand. So some of you, you may be trying to rack your brain and understand people around you that don't really make that much sense. So keep in mind, um, make sure you're not trying to uh, figure out crazy people. Okay, sometimes we're trying to figure out crazy people, you end up kind of crazy with them. Okay, so <laughs> make sure you don't have people around you driving you nuts to the point where you literally are about to like go ballistic. Okay. Another thing I am seeing as well, um, for a lot of you, there may be certain things that you may not be realizing. Um, this is specifically for my cancers who are dating like Leo's. There may be certain things that you're not really seeing in regards to your relationship that you may need to look at closely. Okay. Clarifying that I do have the magician in the mirror. So this person specifically, you could be dealing with like possibly a manipulator or for others of you, like in a relationship, there's just a lot of unhappiness that's present due to things that just aren't being said. And with the magician in the mirror, for a lot of you, you could turn this around and you could be wanting to, but there's certain things that karmically are not right are not balanced. This is also the energy in the relationship where one person is willing to put up more of a fight for the connection than the other person. Okay. Um, I also feel like as well that you guys do need to understand that you're not trapped to a situation that's karmically not going right. Okay. Um, it's all about you looking at how much energy you're putting into a situation and what return in that, um, investment you're getting back i also get a sense as well for some of you um there could be some sort of news about like somebody getting pregnant you may not be completely happy with that or you could be feeling some sort of way about that but um i definitely feel like there is a need for you guys to um handle the news in a, in a way where it's like not stressing you out. Like for a lot of you, you, you could be really feeling stressed out with like you having to finally now, um, take care of like family responsibilities. This doesn't even have to be about pregnancy. This is just about family responsibilities. There could be like some issues in your family unit, things of that nature. Or for some of you also, a lot of you, if there has been some sort of blockage with like a, a mother or a father, I am seeing that there actually may be um, some clearing of that energy. 
for you guys, um, especially if it has been keeping you from moving forward emotionally as well. Now, let me pull some more cards. Let's see what else comes out. Cancers for the messages that the spirit guys they have around them or the universe needs me to convey. Let's see. Okay, all of these are upright, so good. Okay, so we have the Six of Cups, King of Cups, King of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Prince of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. So right off the bat, I'm getting a sense that you guys really need to allow a soulmate situation to work out the way that it's supposed to. For some of you, also a past situation. This may be with a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Um, I'm getting fire as well, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. But mainly like, and then for some of you, it may even be water as well. Um, but what I am seeing here, there's definitely, oh, for some of you, you may have kids with somebody and then financially it may be a little rough right now. And you guys may be feeling like the load is being all, or is being carried solely on your back. Um, another thing I am seeing as well, you could be feeling like you're kind of holding up the relationship at this point, especially financially. And that may be stressful as hell to you because you may feel like you've invested so much relation. I mean, so much relationship, so much money or time and effort into a relationship. And then you feel like it kind of didn't result to anything as well. It just put more of a burden on your back. Um, another thing I am seeing as well. For some of you, like I said, there's a past situation that's, and this is your childhood. For some of you, this is your childhood. Others of you, this is a past situation that's not resolved within you emotionally. So for some of you, that kind of makes you take people in who are like wounded animals, right? Um... And with this, this brings issues to yourself. For a lot of you cancers, you're you're the type of person where it's like you, you think that you can help people fight their battles. And for a lot of you, that puts you kind of in the crossfire more than anything than like helping yourself. <laughs> and a lot of you start to realize that after it's a little too late. Um, for some of you also, there's something that you've been wanting to do since your, like your childhood. And for some of you, you kind of neglected to continue going with it. But I am seeing that for a lot of you. This is because of the fact that you've been having just a lot of energetic blockages. And this is what's stopping you. So if creatively you've been feeling like blocked, you do need to watch the company you're keeping, especially um, if it's always some sort of like burden on your back to put up with the BS that they're, you know, putting out or throwing out here. Um, let's clarify some cards here. Yeah, for a lot of you, I'm seeing where there's also some financial responsibilities you're trying to work out, especially if you and somebody who you have a family unit with may not be on the best of terms here. Yeah, for a lot of you, you don't know what to do with a family situation, whether that's like a mother, father, or you being a new mother and then, you know, having issues with the person you have a child with. Things of that nature is definitely coming up. Now... Let's pull some cards from this deck. Let's see what comes out. Cancers, what are the messages that I need to pass on to my cancers? Messages from the universe or their spirit guides. What is the messages I need to pass on to them that are urgent? Okay, we have a card that fell. Ooh, I don't think I could get it. All right, we're just going to have to leave that card. Wait, oh no, I, I think I got it. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. So we do have the journey card. Or no, no, no. I thought this was the journey card. This is the Lord card. So for a lot of you in a situation here, you're kind of being dragged along. It's either you're dealing with somebody who's kind of like manipulative and they're kind of dragging you along <clears throat> and not giving you the answers that you need. Um, this may also be you guys feeling trapped to a connection, especially if you're a female watching this. I'm getting this message specifically, if I could talk specifically for you. You may be feeling like there's nothing that you can do in regards to um, a connection and how controlling somebody may act at times. Or this may be somebody just not getting with the program, okay? Or like I said, stringing you along. Yeah, hope. For a lot of you, you're trying to still keep hope in regards to what's going on here. Um, hmm. For a lot of you, you really don't know what exactly to do with the situation, but Spirit wants you guys to remove the blindfolds on any situation you may be, you know, turning a blind eye to things. For a lot of you, like I said, you really need to get back out there and show your creative talents. Make sure that you guys are being consistent in doing so. That's the only way that you're going to see any sort of progress. Um... For a lot of you, also a wardrobe change would be cool. Um, not saying that you guys don't know how to dress. I'm not saying that. But changing up your wardrobe makes you feel better. And for a lot of you, you may have been, you know, struggling with that whole going back out there and dating thing. And changing the way that you, you know, dress up makes you feel more confident. And hence, you're going to attract more people. So this is something that I'm seeing that's going to be beneficial for you. Now, I am going to stop right here. Thank you so much, Cancers, for watching this. I hope that I was able to give you some sort of guidance or clarity. If you do want more of a personal session, please make sure that you check out my information listed below to book me. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you also drop a butterfly to let me know that you stopped by. And I will talk to you in the next one.